Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura and you're watching a special edition of Thursday Threads. The crew's gone on a little road trip and we are shop hopping looking for the Stonehenge kits for the block party. And for this time we are at Tennessee Quilts in Jonesboro, Tennessee. By the way, did you know Jonesboro is the oldest town in the state of Tennessee? But let's go check this out. I'm pretty excited. This looks like it's going to be a great visit. So come on along. This should be fun. We have to move to Jonesboro, honey. Mm -hmm. We have to move here. This is wonderful.
Tennessee quilts. I'm going to have to find reasons to come back. So uh, watch for any events that, that concern Tennessee quilts, because I will be here. They're awesome. I have all my goodies in my bag, and it's time for us to leave and find another shop to hop into. I have my goodies from Tennessee Quilts from up in Jonesboro. It, it was just a darling town. I learned that it is the oldest town in Tennessee. And uh, it just really, I'd like to go back and spend some time really looking around. But we're talking about Tennessee Quilts, which of course has nothing to do with why I want to go back to Jonesboro. Have y'all ever seen that movie by Disney called Child of Glass? It's back from... I don't know, mid 70s, mid 70s. Based on a book called This Ghost Belongs to Me. By the way, good book. A little different from the movie, but still very good. Or I should say the movie took liberties and is different from the book. Anyway, if you're interested, we'll put links to the movie and the book down in the descriptions. But there's one character. And she's always going, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I felt like I was her when I was in the shop. It was, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's two stories, y'all. Two stories. Two floors. You have to go up the stairs. And it's from one end all the way to the other end. You want to talk sensory overload. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm going to have to watch that movie now. <laughs> Fabulous shop. And I guess I really do want to go back to Jonesboro just to see Jonesboro. But talk about an awesome uh, side benefit is that I would get to go back to Tennessee Quilts. Got my pattern for the Stonehenge block party. And I really like it. So this should be a, a bit of a new block for me. And again, I just love this fabric. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? So, of course, you know, I had to pick up some. Because that was just gorgeous. And look at the gold in this. Look at this. Tell me that that is just not gorgeous. But So, I can stand here and admire this fabric or I can uh, try to use it for something so I think that's what I'm going to do but look at that isn't that gorgeous I just really enjoyed it they had a lot of things up on the walls there was a lot of animals you could see it was foundation piecing paper piecing there were all these very complicated looking stars everything was just marvelous and while I was there I couldn't help myself well I guess I could have helped myself I didn't want to. I picked up a Stonehenge roll. So this has got eight Twilight Fat Quarters, all in purples. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then while we were there, I picked up a newsletter put out by them. And on one side, it, we've got retreats being talked about, special events, you know, different things. inspirations so oh oh look at there there is going to be an East Tennessee shop hop June 6th through 15th hmm gotta think about that one. Oh, and a quilt fest 2020 in July hmm 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 so mark your calendars be sure to look that up uh, the East Tennessee quilt the East Tennessee Shop Hop and the Quilt Fest. And when you go to Tennessee Quilts, of course, tell them Crazy Dave's crew said hey. And we sent you. And we're, you know, we just love them. Can't wait to come back. And make sure you bring a couple strong people with you to help you carry all your purchases. Because, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It just, this was, it, the only reason I walked out with just this little bit is because I knew I had more shops to go to. And I was on a mission that it was for the Stonehenge blocks and some Stonehenge fabrics. 
like I said, this was one. It was, uh, these aren't really the approved colors for the, the contest. But like I said, I'm, I may not enter the contest. I don't know. I just, I want to learn and play and practice. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time to wander through this store. Uh, look at all the things up on the walls and high up and down. It's just everywhere. Just a incredible shop. And I am looking forward to going back to Jonesboro. We were able to do some geocaching while we were there. I don't know if he made a video out of it or not, but there was a lovely, lovely park. Uh, and while we were there, there were some uh, people taking prom pictures. And then off the ways a little bit, there was a wedding getting set up. So it was just lovely. It really was. And this, the main street and the streets were great. So I, I would like to go back and explore a little bit more and stop in and see Tennessee quilts. I hope you have been enjoying our shop hop, our stonehenging, our exploring, and I hope you have as much fun as I do. There's no way that you are, but uh, you can try. You can always try. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to come back to Crazy Days Crew. Have a great day and happy sewing.